Okay, I'm going to show you how to make computer artificial intelligence. So, as a fitness trainer, I have thousands of clients and they always want my time. I uh, have really small questions that are pretty easy to answer, but nobody really likes to go on a forum, click on the forum and you see what that looks like, or nobody likes to go to the search engine. They always like to talk to people and I really think this is a, a wave of the future that a lot of businesses can take advantage of where we have artificial intelligence answering questions and they take care of the professionals who um, don't have time to answer everybody. So this is a form and a lot of the answers that I have programmed to, to our artificial intelligence could be found here. But if you go down and you see who's online, we always have good old FitMat. FitMat is my cyber clone and let's ask him a question and just see his response. And this is nice. This bar down here is very similar to Facebook. People are familiar with it. And um, I have a glitch in it right now to where when he answers me, it goes above me and it says my name. But he still does respond. You say, How are you? And he'll even reply to that. Um, you know, that's a pretty funny answer. He says, Well, I'm a bot, so I'm always great, but thanks for asking anyway. And all of this is set up in computer programming. So let's go over here to Ultra Edit. This is our editor. So I'll go into FileZilla and I'll go to our file that we have that controls all of his configuration, which is right here. And I want to open that up into pretty much a glorified notepad. And down here at the very bottom, a hook checks to see different things that we can add in every time. And this pretty much says, check to see if the user status has been updated. This one says, uh, it forces somebody to be a friend. And I have it to return the ID 135636. So in our social network, which is here, um, FitMat, he has an actual profile. I went in, I set up a whole profile for him. Um, people can add him as a friend. They can see what his updates are. And he has an ID in our system. His ID is that number you see there. And then it gives him a name, FitMat, and it says that he's always available. He's a male. And at the top, it says, ask me a question. So let's go back to see that. Here's his profile. Pretty cool, huh? Um, but when you're on your own profile, you can talk to him down there in the corner. So let's get into the nitty gritty of how we set that up. This just forces him to be a friend. Now we also have it set up. This is called an if else statement. The if else statement classifies if the person that the message is sent to is his ID, then it's going to do what's called, um, it's going to take the entire string and it's going to make sure that's all lowercase. This right here makes everything lowercase because, um, Computer programming is case sensitive. And then instead of including all these uh, phrases right here in my main configuration file, I tell it to include a different file. I say include fitmatconvo.php. And this is a comment here to just tell myself what this is doing. Now I see if the string length is less than two characters long, then that means I didn't get anything as an answer from FitMat. So he's just going to give a generic response that says, sorry, I did not understand your question. Um, after it gets the reply, it's either going to get the reply from here or it's going to get it from this one right here. Either way, it's going to insert into, it's going to insert from his to ID and your from ID. And it's going to put the reply right there. That's the reply that we're getting. Um, so it's a string. So let's open up FitMat Convo and let's see what we have over there. So we go back into our FileZilla and we scroll for FitMat Convo. Here we go. And now this is nice because I, I can actually have multiple artificial intelligence. Maybe if I want somebody that answers on our fitness network all the prenatal questions, I can have uh, um, cyber mama here <laughs> that she answers any of your questions about prenatal stuff and instead of having in the file here if 2 id equals 135636 which is fitmats I can have another if statement that 
if it's 2ID of whatever the CyberMama is, then we can open up CyberMama Convo, which is a file like this. Now this is all of the questions that people could be asking FitMat. Um, we have a lot of people asking about modeling, and they want to know how to model with us, how to upload their model pictures, all of that. So right now it's pretty generic, and if the word model is anywhere in their question, he has a generic reply that comes back and says, if you're interested in modeling with, with us, simply fill out your profile and upload a portfolio. So let's go and let's talk to FitMat. And let's say, how do I become a model with the move? Now, instead of somebody having to send an email, they get their answer right there on the screen. It says, if you're interested in modeling with us, simply fill out your profile and upload a portfolio. Then logging in daily and being active is the best way to be seen for a project. That's exactly the answer that I would give. So instead of just giving it to somebody, we have FitMat answer those for us. Now we have more complex strings as well. We also have this generic reply. If they have the word dance, dancing, or ballroom anywhere in their question, it's going to give them that string. So that string is, how do I become a ballroom dancer? And he replies, we have so many different dance programs. If you want to learn more about dancing, do a search for a dance teacher. So he's telling us to go up here to the search bar and find a specific dance teacher. Um, and so what this is, this is an or symbol. That means if this word or this word, there it is again, that means or, or this word is anywhere in the question, then it's going to show this. Now let's show a few different options. Right here, if the word book and the word buy or the word purchase are in there. So right here, that's a parentheses. And this parentheses, this nice program shows where the parentheses are together. So this parentheses closes off right there. Let's see where this parentheses closes off. Oh, right there. So this is pretty much saying if the string says buy, but this parentheses puts both of them together. Those are, that's a logic statement. So if the string says buy or purchase, either of those two words, and right here, and it also has the word book, then it's going to give that long string. So it says all information about buying our books can be found in the library or the online store. Now that's updated. Um, we now have a marketplace. So I'm going to change that. Actually, let me show you what it says before I change it. How many books do you have? Now since we didn't have the word purchase or buy in there, he doesn't have that. All of our information can be found in the library store. Many can download for free, though you may have to purchase. Um, so that was not the question that we were looking for because that was the second one here because it says the word not and not because we didn't use the word purchase. We didn't use the word buy. But now let's say, where can I buy a book? And FitMat comes back and he tells us that we can buy it in the store. Nice. So since we don't want to buy it in the store anymore, we're going to say can be found in Sorry, wrong string, so I'll just control Z that. There we go. So right here, all information about buying our book can be found in the marketplace. And then I save this. Then I have to go to FileZilla, re-upload the file, and now I'm going to ask FitMat the exact same question. Where can I buy a book? And this should no longer, yeah, right there, it says now marketplace. So the exact same question changed because I changed it over here in this file. 
Okay, so I have this categorized by different questions that they could have whenever they sign up. These are the questions about when they sign up. If they don't know where their password is, it helps them with that. Um, if they're looking for the real mat, it says that. If they have weight loss questions, it's here. Now, I'm going to put a new area in here because I have a lot of clients asking about vitamins. So instead of just answering all of the vitamins, I'm um, sorry, instead of answering all of their questions personally, I'm going to put a new string in here called vitamins. Now, anytime you have that slash there, that means it's a message just for me. And I'm going to take another reply. It's easier just to duplicate something. And let's put it up here. So let's change that. If string position is vitamin, let's make sure it's all lowercase. And I'll do a search first for vitamin, just to make sure that I haven't used that anywhere else. Ooh, I already do have it in here. If string position is vitamin, or this, or that. Let's see if there's another one. No, that's the only one. Okay, I'm going to take this whole string out here. And I'm going to put it back in, down in our vitamin section. Okay, so nice. I already have a good vitamin answer. What I don't have is a B12 answer. A lot of people are asking me how much B12 should I have. So um, I also have a pretty good query for the word how and how much. So right there, how much cost? How are? Um, Okay, so we actually want a string position that's going to have an OR in it. So I want to copy this string down there. So just for general B12 information, I'm going to say B12 is a great supplement to increase your energy and increase your metabolism. So I'm going to change this so that it's B12 and this exclamation mark means that it's not. So this means that they're searching for the word B12 but they aren't searching to see how much B12 they should have. They're just maybe asking um, do you recommend that I take B12? But then we want to have another statement in here that's almost identical to this one. But we're going to take the exclamation mark back out. So that makes a big difference. So this means that they're asking how much and they're asking about B12. So Oh, and I spelled the word metabolism wrong. Fitmat wouldn't have very good spelling. Fitmat's definitely uh, only as smart as you make him. So, okay. So then on the B12, how much? I'm going to say I recommend a minimum of 100 mcg per day and up to 1,000 mcg of B12. This is over 1,500% of the DV. And yes, it will turn your pee yellow. <laughs> OK, so I will save that. And before I upload it, let's go back in here. And let's say, how many vitamins should I take? Right there, the best multivitamin is the LifePack Nano, which is used by professionals, pricey at 60 per month. It's well worth it. The nanotechnology is cru crucial in absorption of nutrients. Ask your trainer for details. Okay, then I say, well, 
what do you think about B B12? And he says, sorry, I did not understand your question. So he's saying that because we haven't uploaded the new part yet. So let's go ahead and upload that. And when it finishes here, now we're going to ask him the same question. Well, what do you think about B12? And now he has a better answer for you. Uh-oh. Still doesn't know about B12. Hmm. Okay, so when a situation comes up like that, I have to go back in and see what we did with our programming over here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, and this dot equals, that means that his reply isn't going to be just this. His reply is going to be the reply and this. So he might have the word vitamin there, he might have the word B12, and he might have the word race. So it's going to take this sentence, combine with this sentence, and combine with that sentence. So, um, you know, it gets pretty complex making artificial intelligence. And it's never exactly intelligent. It's just a string of if-else statements and a string of queries that you're giving to the system. Um, I will conquer this within this tutorial, though, just so you could see that I added a new sentence in there. Um, surely there's something wrong in here for that not to work. So if the string is this and how much. Oh, so I have to have the word how much in there. Did I have the word how much? Yeah, what do you think about B12? Well, this one up here. This one should go if you just say B12 and you don't say the word how much. So that's the one that wasn't working. I might have put this, there we go, that exclamation mark is in the wrong spot. She is right there. So let's save that. So yeah, little problems like that, that make a huge difference. So again, um, right here, well, what do you think about B12? Well, what do you think about B12 is a great supplement to increase your energy and increase your metabolism. Perfect, it's in there. How much B12 should I take? I recommend a minimum of 100 micrograms per day. All right, so it's in there now, and FitMat just got a few minutes smarter. And after a few years of using this, I really hope that our community can just log on, ask him any question they want, and really understand that um, this information comes from professionals. This is the same information that we'd recommend to our clients, and you can really use artificial intelligence to get a really quick answer and um, e-support staff too. All right, thank you.